So I've come here to meet Colin Curry. We've commissioned a piece that involves himself, us, and a huge marimba. And um, very curious to uh, see the score. I haven't seen it yet. So I'm going in to find out. Ah, Johnny, how are you doing? Great to see you. Great to see you. Okay. Yeah, very well. Hey, look at this. The yeah. beast. The beast is here. And than last time. Yeah, we're referring to the score or the marimba here. <laughs> Both, I hope. Yeah. How has it turned out? It's great. Really, really good. Really chuffed with it. It's yeah. kind of a, a divertissimo, I think. It's um, very uh, springy and, yeah. and interesting, and I think it's great for for what you've got as well. The string being parts. his usual maverick self. Yeah, he's yeah. he's definitely got a glint in his eye, good. and uh, I think he enjoyed writing the piece. You know, he told me that he had fun with it. Yeah. Um, and it's in it's in um, nice short sections, five yeah. five little movements. Um, each with a slightly different kind of character. That's beautiful. Fantastic handwriting. Yeah, yeah. So this piece was written by an uh, Austrian composer, Kurt Schwertzik. Uh, he's a wonderful guy. He uh, used to be a horn player in the Vienna Philharmonic, actually, and he's now uh, more or less a full-time composer, very much in demand, actually. Um, he's written ooh, a lot of pieces. How many pieces has he written, Colin? Well, um, it says here, Opus 102. So he's, he's done his centenary, and we're, we're part of the uh, triple figures. Yeah. He was nervous about writing for the marimba, but yeah. um, he, he thought that it would be a challenge that would suit him yeah. as, a sort of, as someone who enjoys doing th things a little bit, that are a little bit yeah. off the beaten track, yeah, a, little, yeah. a little bit quirky. So having decided that we were going to commission Kurt to write this piece, we were really lucky that the Wigmore Hall came in um, as co-commissioners. It's a first for us, um, the ensemble. I mean, we play there regularly. Um, Colin is an artist in association at the Wigmore Hall, so we have all these kind of relationships going on, and this is just adding another kind of strand. Well, this has a, a very charming title, which made me laugh, as it's meant to, I think, and it's called Now You Hear Me, Now You Don't. And the title is loosely to do with um, the role of the marimba in the concerto, actually, mm -hmm. because um, he decided that the marimba has uh, a variety of possibilities as an instrument. I mean, it has a, a great bass register as well as being able to play melodies and harmonies, etc. So he decided that the role of the instrument could fluctuate during the piece. Yeah. So there are points in the concerto where I'm really playing the line, and then um, other times I fade into the background and I'm just, right. you know, playing a simple, yeah. you know, bass line or even just down to one note. Right. And, and it's over to you to yeah, take yeah. the top line. So it's it's it refers to the marimba's role in the texture. So sometimes you would hear it very well, and other times it would recede into the background. Uh, to lesser D. OK, yeah, sure. You're just on the wrong note by then. Yeah. No, I, then I'm on a good line. OK, you can have a yeah. noodle on it. Yeah, first, of course. sure. So we'll and do that, and we maybe we do that, that bit as well. Yeah. OK, cool. Great. Well, we can try this bit. That'll be all right. That's a solo, actually. So, letter B straight on it, if I count two in? Yep. You give me the... About one, two. So, one, two. the opening and I come in I come crashing in with a big chord you'll be pleased to hear with a cue from you okay. so you'll have to give me an upbeat quick slow it's about one two okay hey, how's that for classic that. material <laughs> Very good. and uh, the first move it's kind of a little march and it, it kicks along with this kind of thing Mm -hmm. And then 
here's an example of when I'm into the background. Oh, yeah. You see? And then so it we're comes. Doing the, the stuff you've just been doing. And then I. Up I come again yeah. into the foreground. On this, Colin. I'm well, impressed. Two yeah. weeks. <laughs> yeah. Any other? Um, what well, other movements? Yeah. The thing is, so this is yeah, this it's five of... quite short movements. Yeah. Um, the second movement is lovely. It's a, a perpetuum mobile, perpetu yeah, yeah. which means perpetual motion. Yeah. And the marimba part kicks in. And I play more or less throughout the whole movement this yeah. one. It takes a bit more work, so I'll... Uh, Page yeah, uh, well, I, I'm hoping to memorise <laughs> yeah? the piece. Yeah. Really? The whole thing? Yeah. So uh, You're amazing. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> couldn't do that. But the second movement, yeah, very, very beautiful. Yeah. Um, quite delicate, actually, even though yeah. it's kind of... Yeah. You know, looks quite heavy on the page. It's, yeah. it's actually very... What about this one? Yeah, this is gorgeous. This Amibile. Is, yeah. It's this, um, this, is the one, this is one where I'm more in, in texture. Okay. And you have these... Lovely melodies, yeah. lines to play, yeah. and I just provide these these little pads of harmony. Um, so you'll be playing a line, and there'll be a, a chord, and then I will I will play on top of the chord something like this. of um, very resonant bottom yeah. register of the marimba as well. To this. Yeah. So the blue sticks. Yeah, the blue sticks the come out of this one. You know, special resonant weighty, ones. Weighty, soft yeah, 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 yeah. sound. Fantastic. Uh, fourth movement is back to a, a kind of an allegro. Yeah, a capricious one. Yeah, cap capriccio. <laughs> Yeah, and it's as you can hear the harmonies start to become a, yeah, more, a little bit more, little more chromatic, a little yeah. more bite. Yeah, um, and then the last movement, a lot of fun. It says presto possibile, and yeah. I think in my email to you I said, as the two goes on, yeah. we'll see how yeah, fast yeah. we can get it. But the, the possible is yeah. Easy, yeah, it's kind of William Tell type. Yeah. Are we going to give the ending uh, away? Or? No way. No, no, no. 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 